we are done with upload we we'll quickly go through download as well so for download um, we want to download it to the full within the same folder where this file is located we want to download it to the downloads folder so if I go back here and go to downloads folder there's nothing here now let's um, download um, this heavy file yeah um, instead of passing the ID we'll find the ID by the file name I'll come to uh, you know like this more about this where if there is you know like more than uh, more than one file with the same name then we might want to you know like uh, filter more specifically by adding more conditions so this will check uh, if the destination folder exists, uh, start a drive service, and then call using the drive service is going to run this download file function or method. And then this is the download file ID, destination folder where you want to download. Uh, in this premium, uh, you know, like premium version, you have a uh, option to rename the destination file as well, um, or you can leave this. So if you leave this part, um, as well it's gonna work if you, you call like this as well it's gonna work it will directly download as the you know like um, original source file name otherwise you can also specify like this and then again this part is exactly the same it's basically gonna check the status okay um, the only thing I'll add here is to events just to make sure that it shows the status okay now let's try this I'm gonna go here and then run this so you'll see down there that the stages will change in a bit once the download starts 1327 the download is faster again it, it is based on your internet it is downloading at the moment not completed yet this is completed now okay so if I open this 